This video originally opened with more than a minute of me struggling to get into an eBay bubble envelope. I'm not going to make you watch that, so let's skip that part. All right, let's see. How, how do I open it? And then press firmly to seal. I don't want to seal. It's already sealed. I guess I open it. I'll open this guy here. All right, here we go. <laughs> And there it is! Hooray! Hooray, hooray, hooray! Alright, ooh, and I got some free peanuts. Cool. So, the box that I was waiting to get was this box of 2022 Topps Chrome. This is a hobby light. Um, and uh, the reason I wanted the light is, of course, the light was the only one that was actually issued with the... Uh, sort of the base versions of the short print guys, uh, the five rookies who were included in the short print series 221 through 225 on the checklist, uh, well, they were only included in the lights. They weren't included in hobby. They weren't included in retail. It was only the lights. So I uh, I figured I'd, I'd, you know, make a play to try to get one of those rookie cards for those five guys. Like those are the rookie cards that are going to matter the most here. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm trying to protect the face because I actually want to add the face of this box to my back wall here behind. Oh, wait. That's right. It's Wander Franco. The box. So there you go. Do, 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 do. And uh, open it here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Peel back that plastic. Protect the face. There are, of course, the four... Uh, speckled mini diamonds. I'm not going to say I don't care about those, but they're not high on my list of things to focus on. That's for sure. There we go. Now, there are, I think, 16 packs in here, each with four cards, which makes for 64 cards total. That feels right. Let's go ahead and put these on the treasure chest over here, move the knife out of the way, and let's see what we get. You know, in retrospect, now that the 2023 season is over, it's easy to look back and see, you know, which of the guys on this checklist made a difference, right? Ryan Velade of the of the, uh, of the Rockies, rather. Well, he's one of our speckles. Um, he did not do a great job here in 2023. Uh, Anthony Rizzo with his concussion things. Uh, he had, you know, his own issues. We got Shamanea. We got Whit Merrifield. This is just the weirdest looking picture because it makes it look as if he has a chondroplasic dwarfism. As far as I know, Whit Merrifield is actually a normal-sized person, does not suffer from any genetic disorders, which would cause him to be smaller than average. Uh, oh, you got Mike Yastrzemski. Here's another one of our Speckle Diamonds. You got Schwarbaum, Jeff McNeil, Freddie Freeman, Connor Wong. Uh, we got uh, Corbin Burns. We got Vidal Brujan in the 87 reprint. Here's Pete Alonzo uh, in the base. Corbin Burns and Sonny Gray. Is that a... Sonny Gray is the refractor. I've mentioned this before. I actually really have a difficult time telling the difference between the refractors and the non-refractors. The same is true of the Panini products. Um, the Panini products, like, I can't tell the difference between Prism and Prism Base. Uh, I, I guess I'm just not cool like that. Oh, you got Josiah Gray. Here's a Shohei. This would have been great to find about 10 months ago. I got Buster Posey in the uh, Prism Refractor. Not really well cut. And then John Means. And these are all nice to have, right? Like these Prism Refractors in the black and whites. It's not what we're hunting for, right? We're, <laughs> we got Corey Seager, Rodolfo Castro, he's Raffy Devers in the new classics, and Byron Buxton. Uh, not a super great cut, i got to say. Uh, a little heavy top to bottom. Now, one of the things about waiting for this uh, box is uh, last year these boxes retailed for a $90, $99, I think it was. Uh, and this year I managed to get this on eBay for just $45, which felt pretty darn good when all is said and done. I got Mike Moustakas. Here's O'Neill Cruz, uh, Nick Madrigal, and Nelson Cruz. I got to say, I, I wish O'Neill Cruz had managed to stay healthy. I think the Pirates really missed him down the stretch. Uh, we saw the Pirates, like, they opened up strong. They opened up with the lead in the uh, NL Central this year, and then they couldn't keep it going, in part because of injuries to guys like O'Neill Cruz, who is a really, really pretty, very good baseball player. He's certainly better than I am. I got another one of the black and white speckles, and I got another one of the prism uh, refractors. So I got Verlander, I got Wayno, here's German Marquez in the prism, Eli Morgan, and Teoscar Hernandez in the black and white mini diamond. You can see it really well here on the camera, like this shimmer effect of the mini diamonds. It is a nice touch, and this is a nice addition to the checklist. Uh, Pooh holes in his Dodgers uniform here. Uh, we'll come around to that. So I got, uh, well, here, let's just drop him there. <laughs> I got uh, 
John Gray, a little bit of stickiness here with the cards. I got the Crone Zone. And you are stuck to... It's just him. All right. Zach Short, rookie card. There's Vidal Brujan in the base, I think it is. Yeah, Vidal Brujan in the base. We got another new classic. So we got Fernando Tatis Jr. At right, uh, Logan Gilbert. And then a refractor of Brian Anderson. Anyway, yes, as I was saying, these uh, cards are actually significantly more accessible now than they were last year, in part because uh, I think sort of the newness has worn off of, uh, of the Chrome set. You know, with everybody sort of deciding that they've gotten the cards they want to get, it's time to move on to 2023. It's easy to be able to find these, uh, find these cards for a discount. I got uh, Jesus Luzardo there. Uh, see, I got a Dolores Garcia. I got my first purple. It's uh, Eli Morgan. That's, that's great, I guess. I'll put Eli on there, and I got a Willie Castro in the base. You saw the armature just uh, jiggle a little bit. It's because I had a cat just jump off the table. And uh, Manuel Rivero, Austin Meadows. Here's Freddie Freeman in the 87. And you, Darvish. And I, I, I do not know. So A, I do not know if I'm going to get one of the short prints. I probably won't. I mean, let's be honest. This is what makes them a short print, right? Uh, but another thing to think about here is I also don't know where the, in the print or in the pack order the short prints appear, right? Like, it's easy to find out where they are in the regular set. I got Keebert Reeves with some damage and Kristen Yelich. Uh, got uh, Bryce Harper, Heart of the City. That's a pretty cool card. And Brandon Belt. Uh, so, yeah. So, you, I mean, you know, I with with the base sets, obviously, at this point, I've reached the point where I know where those cards are. Uh, but with Chrome, I'm never really sure. Probably because it's a four-card set, right? So, is the base... Is the short print going to be in that four, uh, the fourth spot, the third spot, uh, if I get one, of course, which I probably won't, or is it going to be, uh, you know, just mixed in regular like? All right, so we got Eloy Jimenez, and Luke Williams, Jose Abreu, and Kyle Hendricks. We have three packs left. Things are not looking good. I'm not going to lie. All right, so I got oh, it's a beautiful uh, the pinstripe uh, insert of George Springer. I had Jed Lowry. I had a key Brian Haynes in the refractor. I always have to check. And uh, Trey Ambergay. Ambergy? Am Am Amborgy? Am Ambor Ambergay? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. All right. It's uh, Kyle Muller. Another prism of uh, Goldie. Again, this would have been nice to have 10 months ago. Uh, Kyle Muller, Josh Hader, Jake Myers. All right, last pack. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get that last pack mojo? Are we going to get that short print rookie? The answer is almost certainly not because, you know, of course, it's the nature of short prints, right? You're probably not going to get it. But let's see. And we didn't. We got Bay Bay. Uh, all right, well, you know, Harrison Bader's nothing to sneeze at. I like the guy. Christian Yelich, Rafi Devers, and Stuart Fairchild. So there you go, $44 down the drain. I uh, would have been able to turn a profit with the uh, the MVP cards that I pulled out of this, but, you know, again, the MVP buy buyback for 2022 Tops Chrome is over. That's okay. Uh, this is a, you know, this is an easy, accessible box to get these days. Like I said, it's only $45, so it's a lot easier to get than it was this time last year. I'm sort of disappointed that I only got the one purple. I sort of, ex oh, it's numbered. Well, that's something. So it's Eli Morgan out of 250. Didn't even realize that. Well, that's, okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's a lot easier to get this box than it uh, was this point last year. There's probably a reason for that, right? Like, the number of actual hits in 2022 Topps Chrome is, truthfully, it's fairly low. You're more likely to get hits, frankly, out of Topps Chrome Update, because that's the one that had the, the actual regular prints of the rookie cards of the five guys that Topps decided were the most important rookies of the year. Uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, but that said... If you are looking to buy a box of Chrome, you are looking to uh, to rip a bunch of cards, you're looking to get, you know, the big names of 2022, uh, you know, the the Hobby Light box, 45 bucks. It's just as much as a blaster. Thanks for watching.